Hello everyone, Karen and Marik here from the Cartels Protection Association and you're watching Coffee with Cartels. Today we'll be talking about dentistry, a driver's dog called Maida, and why donations in kind are so very important. When we receive donations, donated products like dewormers, barrier tools, feed, even microchips, that, folks, is a cost we do not need to incur or budget for. Our budget for this financial year, which ends on the 31st of March, is over 8 million rand, and we are still chasing that target. When you donate product to us, you will receive a Section 18A certificate for the RAND amount donated. A win-win situation for all. Folks, we call in the dentist once every six months and offer this vital service to the cartel's owners for free. Horses' teeth grow throughout their lives and sometimes their baby teeth do not fall out and need to be removed by a dentist. A wolf tooth is a small, unusual tooth that some horses get in front of their molars, in the space where the bit lies. This also has to be removed by a dentist. Generally, most animals have the ability to digest their food, even if it's swallowed directly, with very little or even no chewing, like my Dash and Odie. <laughs> However, <laughs> this is not the case with horses. They must chew their food properly in order to digest it efficiently. Otherwise, they will fall prone to a number of serious illnesses. So if a horse's teeth are very sharp, irregular, and have less or no surface area for chewing their food, they will not be able to digest their food. It not only results in weight loss, but also affects their performance and health in a very negative manner. This is because the essential nutrients they need does not get absorbed by their bodies. Getting a flat surface is very, very important. This is a picture of Princess, a 14-year-old mare. She had a wolf tooth removed and an overbite corrected. Poor Princess was losing condition and the wolf tooth was the problem all along. This is why we offer this vital service for free. And now we will show you a short video of the day the dentist came to visit. Yeah, so 
I think the biggest thing here is trying to determine the sun is smoke, you know? Okay. So maybe the 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 outside is smoke. I'm um, too bad to have a contribution to this condition. That's shocked, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome. If you've just tuned in, you are watching Coffee with Cartos live with Karen and I. And I just have to tell you that five years ago, Karen and I started and Karen knew nothing about horses. And now she's talking about equine dentistry like a pro. <laughs> I've learned so much, it's been wonderful. <laughs> so please remember to like and share this stream we are streaming on facebook we're on youtube we're even on glitch if you have any gaming friends do tell them about us and tell them that we are up for a game in gaming for good if they want to raise funds for us and on that note we would like to remind you of our beautiful new fundraising web page so if you go to our website carthorse.org.za and click on the bright orange button that says donate it'll take you through a very simple process of donating and you can just donate with your credit card it's a, a secure site so it's very easy to donate if you know of someone who has a small business or if you have a small business and you would like to have some air time Karen and I had have spent the whole of 21, 2021 gaining followers and views and we now have quite a number of followers who like and share our pages and people know about us, they know about our stream, they watch us and if you would like to become a sponsor for one of our episodes then please email Karen at carthorse.org.za I'm going to put it on the screen for you to make it easy. Um, mm, mm, mm. there we go oh no that's about collection tins but you if you want a collection tin you can email her as well <laughs> uh where did i put this ah there we go if you want to sponsor a program or two or part of a program email Karen and find out how we can help each other and as they say in the social space let's do a collab um, <laughs> the other thing that we all know about Karen is how much she loves not only the horses but all the cats and dogs. So she's going to tell you about a special dog. Thank you, Marika. Folks, as you can see, there's many, many ways you can help us. Um, so my email's on the screen. Please email me if you would like to sponsor a stable. Uh, sorry, sponsor a spirit <laughs> program. <laughs> is a cart horse driver and not an owner and always hires bossy for work. Toodles is a very good driver and we don't, we don't have any issues with him the way he handles his horses. But whenever he comes to clinic, Maida, his beloved dog, is always on the cart. She suffered from a very bad case of mange, which we noted. So we told um, Toodles to go next door to the Animal anti cruelty League and to get her looked at. The first day, Toodles sat there for about four hours, waiting for his turn, but wait he did until Maida was seen to. He had to go back weekly for several weeks and look at her now. We cannot believe the change in her condition. Not going to work and to sit and wait for hours for a vet, that, folks, is true love. <laughs> it is indeed. Um, if you remember, last week we did have a little bit of internet problems, but we tried to tell you about the little kitten that Karen, once again, <laughs> picked up <laughs> when we took sponsors worrying her to Freedom Farm. Well, Karen has dogs at home, so Kippy ended up having to take the cat home. <laughs> You're the but cat luckily, lady. <laughs> luckily for me, 
I uh, stopped to pick my kids up at aftercare and one of the ladies fell madly in love with the kitten and within two seconds named her Biscuit and took her home. So little Biscuit is happy in her new home. I saw her yesterday. She's doubled in size and her belly is always full. Her new mommy says she's always hungry, but she is very happy and she clings to her mommy. She's very happy. And like I said, she's doubled in size. So we thought we would bring you that little update. Thanks, Marika. That, that seriously was a, a good day in Freedom Farm, deworming all the horses um, and picking up this little poppets and finding a wonder, one, wonderful, wonderful home. Folks, if you've missed any of our interesting episodes, as you know, you can still access them on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and there is, there, there is something there for everyone. And until next week, be safe and take care. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. There we go. <laughs>